Hello everybody, uh, this is Gunny here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a, tuto a video tutorial of how of my setup using the Black Magic Intensity Pro, a card that can be very difficult to set up, and difficult is an understatement. It's frustrating, <laughs> to say the least. So, I'm going to start out, I'm going to assume you have everything installed, flash media encoder, VH Multicam and the Black Magic driver and software. So you got Adobe, Flash Media Encoder, Black Magic, and HML Soft. HML off. This is what you'll be using today. VH Multicam. Now, starting up, first thing you want to do, uh, make sure you here's the first thing that make sure everyone does. If you're using Windows 7, or X or Vista XP, you don't need to worry about this. But Windows 7 or Vista, you're going to need to open up your start menu, type in the search user account, and click on change user account control settings. Default, it'll be on this black line right here. Uh, don't notify me when I make changes to Windows settings. Notify me only when programs try to make changes to my computer. This is they say this is like a security setting, but if you have a decent antivirus program, like I'm running, I use Smart Security, great program, I've never had problems with it, and if you feel that a antivirus is going to hinder your casting, what I like about this, just right click, disable, and you can right then, two click, disable, enable, right after you finish casting. So that's what I like. And also, if you do end up running a, uh, a third-party antivirus or, or even a third-party anti-spyware, like I have SpyBot here, make sure you disable um, Windows Bitdefender. Because if you have two antivirus programs running at the same time, they will conflict with them, one another and slow your system down to a crawl. Trust me about this. <laughs> you don't want that happening. So first things first, turn your user account control down. Hit OK. It's going to tell you to restart. Do so. But uh, finish listening or watching, actually, this tutorial just so you know what to do. You can always come back to it. Um, so I'm going to close this out. So we're going to start out. We got... So once you disable user account control, you restart, you come back up. Now that although even though when you make an account it's your main account that's my name actually uh, it's it's technically an administrator but it's not a root admin it doesn't have access to every file on your computer or read access so because the way even though you technically disabled user account control it's still running a bit in the background and it can cause driver conflicts with the black magic that's why I recommend, because sometimes in order to make change your settings in VH Multicam to, so you can capture HD 720p, like here, if you don't, here, if you have it, you go to, uh, close this out, file, add camera, link. if you have this, and say it's on NTSC, it's not, say it's on NTSC, if you hit apply, or OK, when you close it down, if you have user account control, actually, either way, it's not going to change. For some reason, third-party applications can't change the video format. Uh, I hope they update this in a later driver, but in at least unsupported third-party programs, you can't change it. So in order to change it, what you do, you open up their own program, the Blackmagic Mini Express. I have a quick link there, um, right here. Black matches design intensity. If you have a folder other than intensity, like Decklink Studio, uninstall it, reinstall uh, using the intensity program, not De Decklink. If also if you have Media Express version two installed, uninstall it immediately because you will not be able to change the settings like I just said in here. It will not move over to VH Multicam. So you open up. So if you have either of those two setups. Please uninstall it right now and install the intensity drivers. Should the latest version to my knowledge is 3.4. So we're gonna start this up, go to edit, preferences, change the video format to HD 720p. 
you can choose 1080i, NTSC, which is basically a standard def, PAL if you're in Europe. But because technically, because the way interlaced works, it's only showing half of, half of the pixels each time a frame is showed, which means technically you're actually getting more pixels per second using 720p than 1080i. And 1080 PSF doesn't work. It, I've tried using 1080p with it, it will not show up. So set it to 720p. Uh, I just have this set, this will not affect you at all. Uh, this will not affect you, this will not affect you. I just ch check this because eh, it's useful because I am running 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I just check that just in case. So once you have, uh, also another thing with the card, you can't have two programs access the card. That's the thing about it. You cannot have it. You have to have, it's only one program allowed to access it at a time. Which means if you have this open and you have access to it in here, like no error pops up, if you try to open up VH Multicam, you will not be able to use the card. So you have to close this out first, open up, and then you open up Flash Media Encoder, choose VH Multicam, pops up. Then you can use it right here. Second thing, once you have all that done, go to Black Magic Control Panel and make sure your output is in this. This is HDMI and Component. Y R Y B Y. That's Component. If you are, if you are capturing uh, using Composite, which is NTSC, you'd use this setting. But majority of you are got the black magic for the HD purposes so you're going to be using this setting here now I have I have a setup my PS my PS3 it's on component which is this setting and my Xbox to HDMI which is these two settings either one of these will work uh, it really doesn't matter for your purposes make sure output processing and input processing are turned off so hit OK once all that's set up Here's another thing, even though user account control, uh, I think I'm getting back to my original point here, even though user account control is turned off, it's still a bit running, so in order to give your programs priority access, you're going to want to right click, properties, compatibility, I've already done it here, click run, check this, run this program as administrator, if you have multiple accounts, just go to here, change all settings, check it, okay, it'll blank this out because now it's, you changed it for all users. So, just hit OK. It'll now run full administrator access every time. Now you want to do that again for VH Multicam. Uh, if you don't have it in this list, you can just search for it here. It'll work the same way. Just right click. But for simplicity, I will use this. Uh, compatibility, I've already done it for all users. And then do the same for Flash Media Encoder. Yep, just opened it. <laughs> You can actually have multiple flash media encoders running, by the way. That's how Swift and I uh, do multiple casts at the same time. So, going back, right click, properties, compatibility. If you use multiple users, set it to this. Single user, you can just check this, it's fine. Um, once you have all that set up, go ahead, you would run Adobe. I have already have it running right here. So, here you're probably going to see this where you have input input video previews turn these off immediately just turn them off they are a waste of resources like the only reason you would ever use it is if you want to make sure a flash media encoder is getting the video that's the only reason why I would ever re recommend having it on but if you ever decide to cast turn them off like don't even have a on while casting it, it, it just wastes system resources and not everyone has a Core i7 like I do like so not everyone can run it at the same well, point than I can also another thing if you have see how it's like this I'm recording it so the bit the frame rate's a bit off but if you have it like this it's fine it looks pretty good but if you can see it's eh, okay in the previews that's from frame rate lag probably because I'm recording my screen right now but if you were to minimize it it gets really choppy and this will it won't be to this extent on stream but it's gonna be choppy on stream so if you're gonna broadcast leave this open you can minimize flash media encoder it will not affect it at all so 